Welcome to video 4 for this unit on functions. In this video, we're going to focus on making and interpreting graphs. We can use graphs to help visualize the relationship between quantities in a situation, even if we only have a general description. Here is a description of a hiker's journey on a trail. A hiker walked briskly and steadily for about 30 minutes and then took a 10-minute break. Afterward, she jogged all the way to the end of the trail, which took about 20 minutes. There, she took a 15-minute break and then started walking back leisurely, stopping twice to enjoy the scenery. Her return trip along the same trail took 105 minutes. We can sketch a graph of the distance the hiker has traveled as a function of time based on this description. Even though we don't know the specific distances she has traveled or the length of the trail, we can show in the graph some important features of the situation. For example, the intervals in which the total distance increased, the intervals in which the total distance stayed constant, how quickly the distance was increasing over time, and the time when the hiker traveled the greatest distance on that hike. Let's consider the same situation, but look at the distance from the trailhead, the start of the trail, as a function of time, instead of the total distance hiked as a function of time. The graph of the function might look something like this. It shows the distance increasing as the hiker was walking away from the trailhead, and then decreasing as she was returning to the trailhead. Graphs are very useful for comparing two or more functions. Here are graphs of functions c and t, which give the populations in millions of California and Texas in year x. What can we tell about the population? In the early 1900s, California had a smaller population than Texas. How can we tell? The graph of C is below the graph of T, where X is 1900. How can we convey this with function notation? We convey this by writing C of 1900 is less than T of 1900. Around 1935, the two states had the same population of about 5 million people. We can tell because the graphs intersect at about 1935, 5. We can convey this using function notation by writing C of 1935 equals 5, and T of 1935 equals 5, and C of 1935 equals T of 1935. After 1935, California has had more people than Texas. We can tell when x is greater than 1935 because the graph of c of x is above that of t of x. We can convey this with function notation by writing c of x is greater than t of x for x greater than 1935. We can tell that both populations have increased over time with no periods of decline because both graphs slant upward from left to right.
Thank you for watching video 4 of 7 for this unit on functions.